G'day there, Paul here from Democast Media. Um, I'm starting my uh, experiment. I'm going to start vlogging to just document what I'm learning. And my aim is to help people to um, improve their influence and impact and, and regain their time using screencast recordings. So this is just on the fly, unscripted. I just want to explain why I uh, feel passionate about screencasting as a medium and how it can benefit you. So all of us have seen screencasts at some point. We've seen videos on YouTube. If, if you've uh, looked up something, how to uh, set up a uh, domain name, uh, a number of things, then you've benefited from screencasting. Um, if you've seen a video as part of some training that you're part of, then you've benefited from screencasting. Uh, if you're a student and you're uh, watching your lectures uh, online or through some kind of portal, then you, it can improve your learning dramatically if you choose to use them uh, and it is readily available. And so there are a number of ways. And obviously, if you've seen a, um, an explainer video, like Grammarly, for instance, they've got their um, advertisements, their, their explainer videos, and it's like a TV commercial, but you see how the application works, the functionality. That's a really high-end version of a screencast. I think all of those things are valuable. Why do I feel so passionate about this? Well, I think firstly, uh, my feeling is that uh, I think every business on this planet should be leveraging that kind of technology because it, as far as knowledge is concerned, if your knowledge is tied up with uh, people and that's, that's the only, that's the main source of your knowledge, then you don't really have a business because the moment a, a, a subject matter expert leaves, uh, that the knowledge leaves with them so I think that intuitively makes should make a lot of sense you want to start documenting the things that your team are learning or what they know and I think screencasting is a very easy way to do this now don't get me wrong uh, written written information um, standard operating procedures things like that all those things are important and they have a place and uh, having them in, in PowerPoint form, PDF, infographic, um, doing screen capture, where it's not a video, but you're just capturing like the, the screen itself. All those things are a part of knowledge management. So it's really the management of knowledge that I'm really uh, concerned about. But I believe screencasting is a really easy way to do it because all you have to do is press play. You just hit the record button and you just have the same conversation that you would already have had with a team member uh, except you, you make it once and you benefit many times over so in saying this when was the last time you even read a uh, training manual in, in your workplace like since when since when do people even read most people are spending a lot of people are spending a lot of time on YouTube watching uh, videos because it's engaging it's engaging it is uh, uh, enjoyable a visual we're all visual learners at the end of the day I don't care what people say oh you know I'm I'm this kind of learner I'm kinesthetic at the end of the day if you've got eyeballs at work then we're all visual learners so I sort of feel like I bash my head against the wall within a workplace I know in a, in a university setting uh, Screencasting is has been around for a while. Uh, the flip, the flip classroom concept is has been around, and, and that's being leveraged. But I still think in, within the workplace, uh, I think there is some change taking place. More companies are seeing the value of capturing content for training. I'm seeing that more and more. But I still think from the av average everyday manager who would benefit from uh, releasing what's in their head and having it in a video format that can be easily shared within the organization. I think that still has a long way to go. Uh, there are platforms that are out there. You can do free trials of things. You can experiment. Um, I released a video the other day. If you have screencast o you can record for free, uh, trim the footage, 
and uh, post the videos on, on their site for free. You can record videos using PowerPoint 2016. You're not paying extra for that, you just hit this, add this screen recording feature and that's it. You can start immediately documenting tasks, building up a knowledge asset which uh, is an, an essential component of any workable business. If everyone, let's say you're the owner of a business and you rely on a team to get things done, you don't have all of the um, intimate knowledge of how things work, you, you've got other things to take care of. You've got, you're, you're gathering new clients, like new work. You're the hunter, you're going out hunting for clients and you've got the farmers working at home base. Now let's say, for whatever reason, and this happens, you go through a cycle of, of high turnover and the subject matter experts, they, they leave. Then you've got to do the recruitment and, and you've got people who start over and if there's nothing in place, no onboarding, no instructional videos to explain how to do the most simplest tasks, which without that information, they are just struggling to find out how to get up and running. You are damaging your productivity, uh, your ability to um, maintain a quality uh, product and offering. You are doing yourself a disservice as a business owner if you do not start documenting uh, the tasks and, and, and key knowledge to keep your business going. I had a conversation with a work colleague the other day on this very topic. Like I said, with our company, and I have to caveat this, our company's going through a lot of change at the moment, but I was saying to him, we, we would benefit so much if we had a system that allowed us to um, post our videos and make them searchable. So if, if someone in the company had a query how, like, how to do something, then they would, uh, they could just you know, type in a term and these videos would be tagged and we could use them for like a self-service platform but for internal use. And his response was, well, well that sounds all well and good but you know you could spend all this time and effort making these resources but the moment stuff changes, that stuff is, is useless, it's over. And he made a kicking motion like he was kicking a footy, like, you know, it's, it's a waste of time. Now, my response to that is, well, regardless of whether you use video or a, a uh, manual to write stuff down, you're still having to document in some way. And that's what I mean, like, everything becomes obsolete at some point. There's, there's, there's um, manuals sitting on your hard drive or on your SharePoint or in the cloud that may never get used again because the information is obsolete and no one's got the time to update that. But that was still useful for a time and that's, that's the approach I would take with this. It doesn't matter if it gets obsolete in six months time, it doesn't matter because it's still useful now. It still keeps the machine going, it still maintains productivity now. So whether we're talking about video or um, customer contacts, really valuable information, every company has to deal with this challenge. So that's, that's kind of my mini rant, but that's why I uh, feel so passionately about this subject. So I'm going to keep doing these kinds of things just to document what I'm learning, where I'm at in my journey, and hopefully those insights can help you. So uh, to keep up to date with these, this blog, uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll be doing this at least weekly um, in addition to my uh, screencast demonstrations or this might replace it, who knows. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.